In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you transcribe information that you collected or calculated for your network into one of the most famous graphs in project management, the Gantt chart. Here we have a network that we did the forward and backward pass in previous lessons, and we're going to transcribe this information into the Gantt chart. We have the eight activities listed here, and we have a time frame that spans the duration of the project. And so what we're doing here is we're just identifying which activities are occurring at different time periods along this graph. So we look up here and we see activity A is the first activity. It starts at zero and has a duration of two. And so we mark it in. I'm going to mark it sort of scribbly to begin with. It has a duration of two. Then B can start, which has a duration of one. And C can start. And notice how the bars are representing the time frame given this timeline. Then D can start as soon as B and C is completed, which is the fifth day. And it takes one day, five and five. Then we can start both E and F. E takes two. F takes three. And then as soon as E is done, G can start, which is the eighth period. That takes two days. And then finally, H can start when both G and F are completed, and that's not until the end of the 10th day. And we go ahead, or the beginning of the 10th day, I should say. And that takes two days. So at the end of 12 days, the eight activities will be completed. And usually what you do when you're done is you try to do a little better job of uh, marking it up so it looks a little prettier than I did. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but fill it in a little bit. And then the last thing you want to do is identify where the slack is. So, for example, B has one day of slack, and typically you indicate it like that. Sometimes you can put an X at it if you want to indicate slack. Just be consistent. And we have actually two days of slack, so we want to put two X's there. And then we also have slack with F. Line up F, and that's over here. And we put in our X there. So here we have a Gantt chart. And the start should correspond with the numbers of the early starts. And then you just mark off the duration for each of the activities, whether it's one for D, or in the case of F that starts on the six, it's three days. And then go back and indicate where the slack is. This is a very famous chart, and every student of project management should be able to do this.